Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to dual boot your computer with uh, Windows 11 retail version and then also the insider version. So to do that, we're going to uh, do a little editing of the hard drive here, then we're going to install uh, Windows Insider on this computer because this one already has the Windows retail, and then we'll have to edit the uh, way it boots and so on. So to join the Insider program, you're going to have to uh, register your account as an Insider. So we have a video on how to do that, which I'll put in the description. So what we're going to do first is edit the partitions on this computer here by going to Disk Management. Okay, so this is our C drive, even though it says disk one. Sometimes they get funky when you add disk after the fact. Uh, so this has a 150 gigabyte drive. So we're gonna shrink this and use part of it. We could use a secondary drive if you had enough space, you know, which you're probably better off doing, but this only has 40 gigs. So we're gonna shrink this drive or cut it in half and then we'll uh, use the other half of that. So we're gonna right click on it, shrink volume, Okay, so we're going to do, let's just say, well, it's 150, so let's just say, let's cut that in half. Okay, so now we got 73 gigs of unallocated space. Windows 11 needs about 60 or so, so we should be good on that. So now the next thing, we're going to have to uh, download the Insider ISO image, which I'll put a link in the description. I already have that uh, downloaded and mounted, so... On your end, you'll have to, you know, make your bootable CD or bootable flash drive. You could use Rufus. We have a video on that as well. I'll probably put that in the description. And then once you uh, get that set up, you'll have to restart your computer and boot it uh, with that Windows Media, which we're going to do right now. Okay, so we're going to go through the installation like normal. Okay, we'll do home since the other one is home. Now here's where you have to pay attention to the custom, and then you have to decide where you're going to put it here. So here's that 40 gigs that we can't use. Here's our primary drive that has the other windows on it, and here's our drive one with unallocated space, the 73 gigs. So that's what we're going to use. So be careful that you don't use your primary and overwrite your other version of Windows. So we'll just let this run. Uh, we'll just finish the installation, which you've done a million times before. The Insider version installs like the regular version, and then when that's done, we'll be right back. Okay, so during the installation, you'll probably run across this, so you're going to need to know... Uh, which uh, volume you need to start up here. So make a, a point to look at the volume number uh, during that part where you chose the partition to put it on. So we'll choose volume four here. And then you go through the typical Windows installation. So we'll pause for this part as well and then be back when this is done. Once again, during the reboot of the uh, installation procedure, just make sure you pick the same one. And you'll see here during the installation, once in if you want to restore from Win 11 Home, which may or may not be the other uh, version of Windows 11 that you have on this computer. I've used this account on multiple computers, so um, just letting you know. So it's up to you if you want to do that or not. See how it has these other options here. So that I've logged onto this computer here. So I'm going to set it up as a new device. But you can copy your settings over if you want to do that as well. Okay, so we have our Windows Insider uh, operating system installed. You can see we have in the corner here, Windows 11 Home Insider Preview with the build number. And so if, to join the Insider program, you could go to your Settings, Windows Update, Windows Insider Program. You have to turn on this optional diagnostic data. And it already tells me that there's a newer update available. And so here's the Insider account. So like I said, this one was already joined. So your 
procedure might vary a little when you try and join from an insider build uh, computer. All right, so we're not going to update right now. So now we're going to boot into the original Windows installation. Okay, on volume three here. So your volume numbers are going to vary too, of course, depending on how your hard drive is configured. Okay, now that we're logged into our original Windows, let's take a look at our hard drives here. So we have our C drive here, Windows on it, and our programs. And now we have this E drive with Windows on it, our other version of Windows. And if we go back into disk management, we still have that 40 gigs of unallocated space, our C drive and our E drive, Windows and Windows. Okay, so now we're gonna do some editing of the uh, boot manager here using BCD edit. So I have some text here, which I'll put in the description. So we're going to do administrative command prompt. Okay, so just to run the program to see what you got, you could run BCD edit. So we got our default E and our current C. Okay, so current is the currently logged in installation. That's C here. And default is the other one on E. So we just saw that our current one's on C and our default's on E for the new one. So if we want to rename it, we could use this command here. So let's just copy this here. Actually, we'll put it down here, and then we'll just edit it and paste it in. Okay, so we're going to rename current to 11 retail. Okay, and then we're going to change this to default. Insider. Okay, so now if we run the command again, so now our C drive, Win11 Retail, E drive, Win11 Insider, and then finally if we want to change the timeout settings, so I think the default's 30, we could use this command here. So we'll change this to just change it to 15. Okay. So now let's uh, reboot the computer and see what we got here. Okay, so we have our insider and our retail, so we just pick which, uh, whichever one we want. And if we click on this here, we could change the timer from here, choose a default as well if we don't want to use the B, BCD edit. But they're just kind of generic ones, you can't really fine tune it. And then we just pick whichever one we want. Let's go back to Insider. All right, so now we're back on our Insider build. And now you can see we could boot to whichever one we want. We could change the uh, names, change the timeout, change the default, and so on. So hopefully that makes sense. I'll put those commands in the uh, description and then links to other stuff as well that might be relevant to this video, and then you could uh, try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.